You see, now this is a textbook example of the stigma against sex workers being used as a weapon against all women. This, it doesn't get any more textbook than that. The stigma, a prejudice, a prejudgment based on stereotypes about sex workers within society. That they have a lot of sex, so they must, you know, have huge vaginas, have so much sex, they can't even afford to pay for their own contraception that they will do anything for a buck, that they compromise their principles, principles that are imposed on them by this sex negativity that for a large part comes from this, this expectation of everyone to adhere to this biblical sexuality. A prejudice against sex workers based on stereotypes that are perpetuated in society by the way we talk about sex workers. About how the Pope's mother was a prostitute and her vagina was huge. And you can stick it in her butt and you don't have to ask. That feeds into the stereotyping of sex workers on which these prejudices are based. And these prejudices all go into the stigma that is used as a weapon against all women when any woman wants to speak out in defense of female body autonomy. And the question that is not being asked on any conservative show, radio show, on any liberal or progressive show, radio show, out of even out of Sandra Fluke's mouth herself, which I'm not attempting to t attack her. You know, we've got a long way to go to raise awareness about this issue. But the question that is not being asked by anyone which just goes to show just how far we have to go with this movement is why is it shameful to be called a prostitute why is it shameful what's wrong with it nobody 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 is asking that. In fact, when interviewing Sandra Fluke, and they say they call you these derogatory, derogatory terms. They call you a slut. They call you a prostitute. How do you feel about that? And she says at first she was shocked. No one ever questions why being called a prostitute is a derogatory term. Why is prostitute a derogatory term? Why is being called a whore when Jank wants to attack Grover Norquist a derogatory term? Why is it a derogatory term when someone writes a song saying that the Pope's mom was a prostitute? Why is being called a prostitute derogatory? That is what nobody, not even some of the, the YouTubers around, you know, who have kind of been around the periphery of our little, you know, niche here are even asking. I would like more people to ask that because I can ask it but I'm only one person Ruby did a great video that'll be in the low bar touching on the hypocrisy you know attacking people on the right for calling women sluts and prostitutes when people on the left do it as well and that was a great video but you know I would like to hear more people talk about this. Why is it a derogatory thing to be compared to a prostitute? Where does that come from? How does our usage of the term prostitute or whore in society, in these various contexts that people try so desperately to justify, how does that contribute to the stigmatization of sex workers and how does that contribute to those sex workers and terms referring to their job being used as a weapon against all women when all women are wanting their rights. Anybody think about that at all in connection to this? I've been fairly quiet about this because I wanted to see how many people would think about that.
And I was a sex worker. I was a stripper. Some people will call that softcore prostitution because there's a fair amount of grinding that goes on. There is some physical contact that goes on. Fine. I don't have a problem with that. And I have always used contraception. I am a sex worker. I've been called a whore by many people. Many, many people. I've been called a prostitute by many people. And I use contraception. Why? Because even though I'm a fucking whore in many people's eyes, I'm still more sexually responsible than everyone who's trying to pretend like they don't fuck. And so they go around having this unprotected sex and possibly getting an STI or accidentally getting pregnant. I've never had an STI and I've never been pregnant and I've never needed an abortion. And you know why? It's because I'm a fucking whore that uses contraception and I'm goddamn proud of it. And to those of you who have had an STI or who have needed an abortion, I don't shame you for that. You know what? It all starts. It all starts with this, this biblical sexuality they're trying to impose on us. Legislate to us. They don't want us to have comprehensive sex education. They're trying to impose their abstinence-only education. They're trying to take away things like Planned Parenthood, which would cut access to contraception. And so people, because we are animals, and we do want to have sex, have sex, and they get STIs, or they need abortions, and they want to attack those people's right to an abortion. And they want to shame them for having an STI. And then so those people who choose not to have an abortion, they have kids. And what do kids do? Kids cost money. And what does that do? It contributes to, to the poverty level of that woman. And so sometimes that woman goes in to sex work to pay for that kid. Because it's a cycle. And I'm really beginning to think that the majority of poverty in the United States is because of this biblical sexuality and this ignorance about sexuality they're trying to impose on us because ultimately it comes down to having kids and kids cost money and, and poverty contributes to having to do survival sex work and the next thing you know you're a prostitute and stereotypes about you are being used as attacks against Grover Norquist or against the Pope's mom or against Sandra Fluke for wanting women to have access to contraception and insurance that they're paying for anyway or their employer, employer is fucking paying for anyway. Does everybody out there hear me?